I first met Audrey in Copenhagen at the World Women's Conference in 1980 and heard her speak and thought I have to try to get her to come to Germany because the movement was just needing somebody like Audrey. And I got to finally to come in 1984 as a teacher at the Free University of Berlin where I was also teaching. And that's when she met the first Afro-German women. And actually, we were constantly on the look for black women because all they came and said there must be blacks in Germany. And I had one black German friend, but the group enlarged and Audrey was the one who encouraged them to write a book about themselves. The book Showing Our Colors, Afro-German Women Speak Out, published by the University of Massachusetts Press in English. And we at Orlando Publishing House, which I was a founder and a member of, published several of her works in German. Audrey came for naturopathic treatment to Germany, and she came from 1984 to 1992, except for one year when she was in Switzerland, and she gave numerous readings in West Germany and East Germany. She went to England, to the Netherlands, and she was extremely important for the black German community. Uh, and she got white women to finally face their own racism and initiated the discussion on racism and anti-Semitism. For me, she was a personal friend and uh, she, yeah, one thing which really was important to me was how I learned that with black women and men, and it was necessary as a white person to always again uh, re-examine my own self that I could not expect trust from the beginning. And uh, Audrey stayed with us in the last year of her life. She selected in our house, my, my partner, uh, 42 poems which we published after her death in German and in English. And it's displayed here also at, the, at this uh, wonderful event. And she encouraged my partner, Kika Hügel Marshall, to write her book which was also translated into English, Invisible Woman, Growing Up Black in Germany, for which Ika got the Audrey Lord Literary Award. So tell me, what's your favorite memory of Audrey? Ask question again. What's your favorite memory of Audrey? Well, one of my favorite memories is a very personal one. We love to go and chop flowers. We would come home with flower pots for our balcony, boxes full, and Ika was saying, where are they supposed to go? You know, each time we would, we would get a little bit high and go and these flowers in these garden places look just so wonderful. So that was one thing. Thank you. Thank you. That's great. One thing that I think is very important, why I brought the German books and also a notice on a conference which took place last year in Bologna in Italy about uh, Audre Lorde and her work attended by about 200 women uh, that her international perspective often is ignored here in the United States even in the film in Italy for Survival. Berlin is shown with maybe one minute and Berlin was very important to Audrey. First of all, because the black diaspora became very clear to her in meeting black Germans and other black Europeans. She, in a talk, gave, said the sentence that Europe had always been a nightmare for her, but that the hyphenated people of Europe, she thought that they were the only hope for uh, Europe to deal with difference. And I think that that international perspective came to us through her continued uh, stays in, in Germany and in other European countries. And that's important for people in the United States to understand. Great. 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 Great.